hi and welcome to my youtube channel today i'm gonna show you how i did this resin butter dish i have blue for ravenclaw and red for gryffindor i am so excited to show you this you could literally do this with whatever you want use your imagination here are the tools i'm going to be using mod podge a brush for the mod podge and a paper that i'm going to be putting atop it this is the print i'm going to be using my husband and i love harry potter so what i did here was cut them up i cut them up into little pieces because that's the kind of style that i want to go for in this arts and craft project to begin i'm going to basically be taking these pieces of paper and wrapping them all around the top of my butter dish using mod podge you can see here that the ink from the paper is starting to leak that's because i didn't put any sealant or anything on top of it but that's okay because what i'm going to be making is actually going to have um, depositing color on it so so i take this cup and i have this mod podge and i take some food coloring that i got from the dollar store and i'm basically going to mix it into the mod podge Sometimes I like to add these little decoration stuff, just like with this blue mixture of Mod Podge and food coloring. I also added this black glitter. I'm sorry in advance for this weird lighting. I think my phone was on like some kind of feature or something. I don't know what I had it on, but it ended up flickering a lot. I also like to add these hieroglyphic glitter to everything. So of course it's gonna be added to this. So here is the final product, but not really the final product. It's just the Mod Podge covered. So now we have to use the epoxy, the resin, which is basically one ounce of bottle A and another ounce of bottle B. And we're gonna be pouring it over this top. And I kind of thought that the silicone rubber, it's actually from Michaels. I placed it upside down to kind of see if maybe this would help with some drainage. I don't have a very good way of draining and, and making this nice. So if anybody has any idea, go ahead and let me know. But here are the bottles that I'm gonna be using and the type of resin that I'm gonna be using. Hopefully this all works out. Also guys, I'm not wearing any gloves. Please make sure you wear gloves. And um, I'm sitting by an open window for this. I have the fan going. Resin should not be, you know, you should be wearing gloves, definitely. Even a mask, maybe one of those air filtration masks. I'm obviously going to put more of that glitter into my resin. And I was thinking of putting more of those things in there, but I don't think that is going to be what I'm going to do. So anyway, let's get started on putting the resin on top. Glitter time! Ooh, look at that glitter, so beautiful! Here is the moment of truth. I'm basically just going to bathe this butter lid with resin. And I'm also gonna work my way, of course, all around with my stick, trying to avoid touching the resin with my hands because I don't have any gloves. I had to throw away a whole bunch for other reasons that I won't mention right now. Here is how it looks after I've gone through and around it. I'm hoping that it drains well through the silicone base. I'll be checking every couple of hours. Good morning, guys. It is time. It's been like a night and a few hours plus. And yeah, there's some remaining pieces around it. I think that the silicone rubber did a nice job at draining. Here, I'm gonna use this, uh, I don't know what it's called, a gritter or I don't know. But um, I bought one of these a long time ago because I do this so much. But you guys can use a nail filer if you want. So after you're done with filing, you're going to basically just try and get rid of like, you know, all of the dust. <laughs> guys, make sure you wear gloves, please. Um, and here we go, the final reveal. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.